Begin with going down to the Windows icon and right click it. There you will select Windows Terminal Admin. Inside Windows Terminal you will write in Disk Part. And then you click Enter and now you are into Disk Part. Now you will write in List Disk and click Enter. Here are all your uh, drives attached to your computer. So right click the Windows icon again and select Disk Management. Inside here you can find different disks on your system as well. So here we can try and identify which is the disk you want to delete because you don't want to delete the wrong one. So after doing that just go to Explorer and check around a little bit there so you are sure that the disk you want to delete is the one you select. So uh, select the disk by writing in select disk 1 and click enter and now disk 1 is selected. Now you will write in list part as in partitions and you can also write in list partition. Double check that this is the correct disk you want to delete because now you will write in select part and after we have done this you can't recover the file. So uh, now write in select part and then delete part override with two R's like that and that partition is completely and permanently deleted from the system. So just proceed and write in select part 2 and click enter, write in delete part override and click enter and for the last partition select part 3 and delete part override. So do this for all partitions that you have on your system. The amount may vary just so you know. So uh, do it for all of them. It might be fewer. And now when you write in list part, there are no partitions on this disk to show. So now we can write in list disk and here we have all three disks. And now we may go back to disk management instead. Inside here we can see disk 1 is uh, full of unallocated space, so right click on it and select new simple volume. Just click next and here you will write in how big this volume will be. Uh, if this is an SSD, grab your calculator, copy this number, paste it in, uh, take it times 0.85 to remove 15% copy that value and paste it in again because an SSD should have 10 to 15 percent uh, space unallocated in order to prolong its performance and lifetime. An HDD you can just max it out however so do that and uh, this is an HDD so I'll assign it the letter D. Um, it should be NTFS if you want to use it as a Windows drive. Allocation unit size should be default if you don't will store only movies and pictures and music and big files only on it, then you can actually select the allocation unit size to max. In any case, uh, default always works, so uh, we'll just write in a volume label and do a quick format. If you uncheck the quick format, it will do a slow format and that will destroy all the data that was on the drive earlier, so it can't be recovered. And now you can browse your new drive. It's fresh and ready to use. You can make folders and use it and put it in another system and do whatever you want. Very nice storage drive. And there we have it. Your hard drive is now very fresh. So I hope you enjoyed this little tutorial. And if you did, you should definitely leave a two likes. And uh, in any case, do subscribe. And I'll see you next time. We have tech tutorials every Tuesday and we have gaming content, streams and all that stuff. So stay tuned. This is your host, Jim Desmond. We're signing out.